guys so i'm gonna talk low because i don't want your um people to hear me talking but um a lot of people don't know yet right now i don't know when i'll upload this video but i took a pregnancy test a couple days ago and i decided to come in because it came out positive and it's positive again so i'm definitely pregnant i'm gonna assume that i'm five weeks um if i'm doing the calculations correctly and i just want to start documenting um i'm breaking out but yes i don't know how i feel definitely scared um I don't know. I told my mom, my sister, like, close family members, but not a lot of people know because I didn't even get it confirmed by a doctor for me to just tell anybody. And it's so early. And I feel like I have to deal with it first and accept it. And, yeah. If you guys are wondering where Nevaeh is, she is in the car with her father. Um, she, she got her own shots today. Her 15 month old shots and she did not take that very well but she fell asleep so I didn't want to wake her up to bring her in here and just have her cry some more so she is in the car sleeping with her dad but here I am waiting for the doctor and this time around I think I want to document a lot just because I barely documented with Nevaeh and I wish I could go back and see certain things so there's Nevaeh still sleeping because she got her shots um my hair is a mess my new excuse for everything is going to be I'm pregnant um why are you mad I'm, well I don't want to say that but what's wrong I'm pregnant why are you here not done? I'm pregnant. Why you ain't clean your room? I'm pregnant. Why you ain't cook? I'm pregnant. Anyway, um, yeah, I think Richard is like still. He said he's in denial, but I guess the ultrasound will um make it hit. If you know what I'm trying to say, um. Yeah, so I just scheduled an appointment to make ultrasound December 5th. They told me I got to drink 32 ounces of water, which I hate. Because it's at 9.30 in the morning. You have to drink it an hour before your appointment. And, yeah, I was just going to be doing too much. But, teenagers, I hate them. Just kidding. But, yeah just documenting a lot of stuff maybe i'll upload some videos and put it private and then make it public after i finally decide i want people to know i mean a couple people already know but like you know once i want the world or not the world because i don't get a lot of viewers but um you know everybody else um i'm getting chick-fil-a right now because i'm starving i am so hungry so so hungry and i feel so bad for nevaeh i have all these appointments i have to request off i'm like oh my god this is crazy guys it's so crazy like they didn't give me a due date but i know that it's gonna be july 21st like i just know it because they go off the first day of your last period which was october 15th for me 40 weeks after october 15th is july 21st my baby's waking up with me because i keep talking hi baby I know it's gonna be July 21st, um, which kind of upsets me because Nevaeh's birthday is October 19th. Like, I always told myself if I was to ever have another baby, I don't want to conceive a baby in like October, November, December, just because that would mean that my baby would come so close to Nevaeh's birthday. And I just always want Nevaeh's birthday to be special and spectacular. I'm still gonna try to make it that way every year, but I'm just gonna make it harder because I'll have birthdays back to back a birthday in july and a birthday in august but i don't want to think about that right now um never you want to eat mommy but yes it's been three minutes 
maybe I'll upload them and not tell anybody that I upload them. So whoever sees that it's upload is going to know that I'm pregnant. But yeah. Um, the lady was like, you're like five minutes pregnant. I'm like, I know, I know. Like, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Um, maybe I'll just tell you guys why I knew it. Um, so I just, every, fun fact, it's not that funny, but, um, I don't want to say every time, but the last time I tried to start keeping track of my period with an app, it only lasted a month because I ended up pregnant with Nevaeh. But I always... I never keep track of it and it always just surprises me out of nowhere. I'm always shocked that I get my period because I'm never prepared. So I'm like, three months ago, I was like, you know what? Let me start keeping track again. I downloaded the app first month, second month. Then the third month was October 15th. So I guess this was going to be the fourth month that I put it in. I just started documenting my periods because I like to be um, ready, like prepared. Um, yeah, so it didn't come. <laughs> What's wrong, mommy? You hot? You okay? What's the matter? Wanna eat? eat? Okay, you have to wait. So, um, my period tracker app said two days late. And I'm like, hold up. But then I'm like, I just started keeping track. The month prior to that, my period came two months, I mean, two days before the app says. So maybe I'm like, so I thought maybe it's going to come two days late since last month it was two months, two days early. Then three days and I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh my God. And I'm telling her dad, like, I got to take a test. Like, I have to take a test. So um, I think the next day after I was like four days late um, before work, he bought me a pregnancy test. And then I had like a 15 minute break on my shift. And I took my test on my 15 minute break and it came out positive. I was like, oh my God, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Um, I feel like after your first baby, cause I didn't find out for Nevaeh until I was two months pregnant. This time around, I was probably like four weeks pregnant when I took the test. Um, I feel like you know your body um, a lot better than you did the first time. And yeah. I, I grew an appetite out of nowhere. I used to eat breakfast and make it home to snack on something and then wait for dinner. But it's like I was coming to work and I would eat breakfast and two, three hours into my shift, I feel like I'm starving. And it's because I was pregnant. And I was like, oh my God, it all fucking, it all makes sense now. But yeah, my appetite is over the roof. What's wrong, mommy? Neve is a little bit upset about it right now, but she hasn't come to terms with it. She, you will accept it eventually. We all will. Do you want to read your book? I think the sun is bothering her. But, yeah, so I took the test. It came out positive, and I called the OBGYN and made an appointment for today. And I just got seen. And... Hey, All right, y'all, that last video is from the doctors today. Um, first of all, Nevaeh is downstairs taking a nap. Um, but the baby does not look like anything at all. Um, she said that I'm measuring at six weeks and four days when I thought that I was already seven weeks. According to my calculations, um, I thought it was going to be July 21st, but she's saying July 26th, but it's still not accurate. She said to let my actual doctor um give me my due date so I still don't know my due date it's gonna be July 21st or July 26th excuse me I'm hoping for July 21st because I want it as far as ne away as Nevaeh's birth as far I'm not 
I don't want it too close to Nevaeh's birthday. So if it's going to be July 21st, let it be July 21st. Plus, Nevaeh came a week early. So hopefully a week early so it can be even further away. Like, if Nevaeh is born July 26th, I mean, I said Nevaeh. If this baby is born July 26th, um, I think I just heard Nevaeh. But they'll both be Leos. Like, isn't that freaking insane? But yeah. Um... A lot of people know that I'm pregnant. Like, I just tell people. Everyone at work knows that I am. Um, I told my mom. My mom knows. Everyone knows. My dad still doesn't know. So, I'm going to tell him and maybe record it. So, I don't know how to tell him. I'm going to just give him the video, the ultrasound picture that we took today. And it's hard to give it to him. And I'm going to see how that goes. But, <laughs> yeah, that's my update. I don't go back to the doctors till the 18th. Today is the 5th, I think. I don't know. Yeah, today has to be the 5th. Um, I don't go back to see my OBJY until the 18th. And that's where I'll get my official due date. But this is crazy. I'm still in shock, but I'm like accepting now. And I'm trying um, to be more excited about it. Um, but yeah. I know people are gonna ask me what I want and everyone like is team boy but I think everyone is team boy because um I already have a daughter but honestly I would want my daughter to have a sister <laughs> like I want them to be best friends they'll be two years apart but what are you you team boy or you team girl I still don't know if I want to have a gender reveal or I just want to find out with like my immediate 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 family or have like a gender reveal and invite family or friends like I did with Nevaeh but I don't know. We'll see how that turns out. I honestly don't want to wait till the 20 week appointment with Nevaeh. We found out at 17 weeks. I want to find out at like 11 weeks. I know a place where you just pay for it and they can tell you as early as 11 weeks. So that's when I want to find out. I still have no idea when I want to announce or how I want to announce. Um, I know that I want to include Nevaeh, but I don't know if I'm going to wait till I know the gender or just say i'm pregnant I'm, I'm having a gender role i don't know but by the time you were you watched this i would have figured it out already so i think i don't know depends on when i want to upload this video let's see how long i go i'm just going to keep adding to this video like a documentary um yeah and keep track of everything and just be more consistent with this oh my gosh but one more thing um Nevaeh had to lay next to me the whole time I was getting the ultrasound done because she was like so nervous like I think nurses and like doctors scare her because she thinks about when she gets her shots and yeah I felt so bad because the minute I sat her on the um the bed that I was gonna lay on she started crying I felt so bad I'm like she's not gonna touch you sis it's for me and I think I do have a little baby bump even though the baby is so tiny, so I don't understand how it would happen. But I think it's because your second time around, you show earlier. But I promise this was not here. Like, this is not my fat. Like, this is me getting bigger. Yep. What are you doing? Be careful. Navi, what are you doing? You okay? Go ahead, get down. Good job. Okay. Wow, that was fast. Say hi. 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 Got buoys.
foods. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. Good. Nine weeks now by your ultrasound that you had, uh, John, on December 5th. Oh, what's the matter? You're so silly. It's too early to hear the heartbeat, like, by listening to the mm -hmm. anyway. So we're literally not even touching you except for okay. your drop blood. So okay. a bunch of blood. <laughs> we do iron levels, thyroid, sickle cell, HIV, hepatitis, glucose, whole bunch of like basic healthy stuff because you are very healthy. Okay, and then um, no bleeding or pain? No. Everything's been fine, nausea wise? Yeah. Okay. And so far not. Well, you should be out of the woods because this is like, if you were going to get it, you'd have it bad right now. Okay. So you should be fine. You were so Okay guys, so for Christmas, maybe I got this baby. A gender reveal baby for Christmas. And we're going to see if the gender of this baby is the gender of my baby. So the first thing we're supposed to do is dip the baby's shirt in cold water. So I'm going to take her shirt off and dip it in water. And it's supposed to reveal something, but I don't know. Let me see. Okay. I got the shirt off the baby. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm gonna dip it. You see? I dip it. Because I dipped the whole thing. It's not really for sucking, but the fucking like talking. Yeah, I know. It's still yellow, so. Oh, I think it's turning pink. Nothing is happening. There's no there's an instruction. That's the only instruction. I'm pretty sure they have instructions no, no, in there somewhere. No, no. Oh, I think it's turning blue. Maybe I can just let it sit. It's like an experiment. I think I'm just gonna leave it alone in the cold water. Uh oh. It comes in the video. Trying to see what, what your baby doll is, a girl or a boy. And then you got to name it. Yes, baby? You want to see? You got boogies on your face. I saw this in the cake. I saw it in the cake. <laughs> Nothing's happening to the shirt. I think I know what's going to happen. I think it's... A, you think... I think this dissolves, it's supposed to dissolve, and the shirt is inside. I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen this doll before, so I don't know how the heck it works. Yeah, this does dissolve, and then you open it into a shirt. That's what it's doing. It's taking forever to dissolve. Emma, the packet. Emma. Oh, this is the packet of the shirt? Yeah, it's the packet of the shirt. <laughs> wow, what a waste of time. Emma, All right, Emma. so I got the packet. Mm. Sorry, grab that from her, please, because Neva is going to want it. All right. Let me lift this up a little bit. All that. We're not going to just rip it and got the packet. Let's see. Are you having a boy or a girl, Nivea? A boy. It's green, not even blue. It's nice supposed to put the new outfit on the baby. And it's a boy. I'm about to cry. I hope I get the opposite. Here's your boy, your son. Here you go. And we can eat cake now. Because it's a boy. How cute is this? This is so cute. Buy this doll for your daughter. Like <laughs> the baby's blue bottle. Because he's a boy. Nevi, what are you gonna name your son? It came with a green a green top, so you wouldn't know whether it was pink or blue. This is crazy. I'm gonna text the person who got this for Nevi and tell her what it was because she said whatever came out the baby is whatever gonna but you don't even talk, right? Nevi, it's a boy. What are you gonna name him? Nene? Here. Feed him. Feed the baby. I can't 
It was also there was also some it was gonna shoot out some confetti. Yeah, but I'm not gonna make a mess because I don't have time for this, but okay, so Nevi has a boy now. She has a son. Oh the confetti's cute though. Oh, um, she has diapers for her son. And for the baby water. Yeah, but what if nobody opens it and spills the water everywhere? Mm -hmm. the, the back. So to fill it up and it's going to so called the water baby. It says water baby. It feels like a real baby. Magical, magical water baby. You guys are looking to purchase this. Oh, wow. They come in. Mm -hmm. I knew I had to be instructions in there. It's a boy, so we'll see. That would be freaking crazy, right? That would be crazy, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My sister is a strong believer in the Chinese calendar. The Chinese calendar was right for Nevaeh, so if it's right for this one, it's a girl. And then we're all going to be happy, but I know we're all going to be happy either way, but you know what I mean. I look sick. Okay, guys, so I'm officially 10 weeks and two days. I don't have a bra on, so. Mommy! And... It's safe to say. <laughs> say hi. Hi. You want some water? <laughs> say please. <laughs> okay, I'll get you some water. But yeah, here it is. <laughs> Ten weeks, two days. I'm definitely showing more than I was with the day. All right, so it's about to be seven o'clock. I'm about to have to go clock in, but um, you know, I'm making this video. Look, so I can use my phone. Anyway, I'm making this video, and um, I see how in the beginning, um, I was just like not happy, and I was sad, and I was scared. Um, I'm still scared, but I have to tell myself that. And if you just found out you're pregnant and you're young, this message is for you. Um, I just want to let everybody know that everything happens for a reason. I'm a strong believer in that. And I was not planning on having a baby, not with Nevea and not this time around. But y'all don't understand how much I love Nevea. Like, I could cry about it because, oh my God, I love her so fucking much. Like, I feel like God knows what he's doing. And, um, like, I'm about to cry because I just love my daughter. But, oh my God, I cannot talk about her. And, like, I want to cry, but... Like, I really love her. And um, I feel like I'm not myself without my daughter. And, um, oh, my God. I don't think I'm a... <laughs> Y'all don't understand. Like, if you have a child, you understand, like, where this love comes from. But I just know that everything happens for a reason. And, you know, maybe um, I'm having another baby now, young, because in the future like maybe i won't be able to have kids you know you know it's so much harder to get pregnant when you're older and it's high risk pregnancies like so much comes with it we were made to have babies young like you're your your most fertile at this age like i'm 21 years old and i'm gonna have another baby and i just know that i'm gonna love this baby just as much as i love nevaeh and if you just found out you're pregnant just know that Everything happens for a reason, and God does not give you more than you can handle. And at the end of the day, you're going to be the one with your baby. You're going to be the one struggling. So don't worry about what anybody has to say because nobody's going to buy you pampers and nobody's going to watch your child, you know? So just be strong. Like, I thought this message was going to be better, but I failed because like, I started getting emotional. But I'm really excited now, and I'm happy to meet my second baby um yeah everything happens for a reason so i know there's a reason behind me having another baby so soon and i'm not like me and the baby's father is are not oh look i broke a nail i know that we are not ready to have another baby together i never thought that we would have another baby together but like i said everything happens for a reason it's just crazy and i'm still mind blown but this was supposed to be an encouraging message. That was my goal, to have an encouraged message at the end of this video. Um, by now, I am going, well, I still haven't announced yet, but I'm going to announce on the 8th. Just know that you're gonna love your baby. And your baby is all that matters when, when you're I just want everybody to know that you are going to be okay, okay? Just stay strong 
And when you have a baby, you feel like you have purpose now. Like, I didn't know what I was living for. Now I know that I, I live for my daughter. You know, I live for Nevaeh. And everything I do is for her. Like, I have to stay strong for her and now a second baby. But, like, I cannot give up, you know. Before, I could just give up and people just quit on things. And, I, like, I can't do that. I cannot lay at home and be sad, you know, because everything that happens to me affects my daughter because, you know, she's with me 24-7. But, um when you have a baby you like have a reason for living and 